opinion essays for the IELTS exam. Really, the most important thing that you need to remember when you're answering an opinion essay is to read the prompt. That's right, read the question that the IELTS examiner has provided for you. If you do not understand the question, then you will not be able to answer in an essay format. There are basically two types of opinion essays. The first type asks for two opinions about a topic. Uh, and, well, for instance, some people believe that exercise um, is important for children in, in uh, elementary or middle school, while other people believe that exercise should not be taught or used in schools because students must focus on academics such as math, science, reading, and writing. Now, on the first prompt, the question is going to include the following sentence. Listen carefully. Discuss both views and then give your opinion. Because the prompt says to discuss both views, the majority of your essay will be talking about how um, physical education is important and how physical education is not important. The final paragraph will be your personal opinion. So this essay structure will have four paragraphs, your introduction paragraph, the reasons why physical education for children is a good idea, the next paragraph, paragraph three, the reason why physical education is not important for children, and then your opinion, which one do you agree with? Now the second type of opinion essay is more of an argument. So the essay prompt would be something like this, and listen carefully because it's a bit different from the first one. The second example prompt would sound something like this. <clears throat> Many people believe that physical education is very important for children in school. Other people believe that physical education is not important for children in school and they should focus on academics. Which opinion do you agree with? Give examples and details to support your opinion. Now in this type of essay, you will actually look for and brainstorm for three reasons why physical education is either good or physical education is bad. So this type of essay is actually more of an argument. It's still your opinion, but it's an argument. So you will not be talking about the other person's point of view. So with the example that I've given, physical education is important for children. Your first body paragraph could talk about how it's good for the physical body. It keeps children in shape and um, it eliminates obesity. The second body paragraph can talk about how children need to work in groups and play together in, in sports like football. The third body paragraph could give the third reason why you believe physical education is important um, by talking about promoting mental health and helping students psychologically or mentally. So in this type of essay, you would probably have five paragraphs total. The introduction paragraph, your first reason why physical education is good for children, your second reason why physical education is good for children, and your third reason, and then you would have your conclusion. So that would be five body paragraphs. Um, that's it for now. Now we're going to talk about brainstorming. Brainstorming is probably the single most important thing that you do besides understanding the question um, before your writing process. So let's get back to the opinion essay. In this opinion essay, the, the uh, author is asking you for your personal opinion and your ideas about something. So the first thing that you should do is probably brainstorm a list of, for example, reasons why physical education is good for children. Now, the more reasons you come up with, the better. So let's say you come up with five reasons, five reasons why exercise is good for children. Out of those five reasons, you go back and you choose the three most important or the street three strongest reasons or arguments to support your idea. Once you have those three ideas, then you have basically an outline. So what do you do after you have your topic sentence? That's the first sentence of a body paragraph. You have to come up with reasons, examples, and suggestions that help the reader understand why your reason is a good one. So going back to the example we discussed earlier, physical education is important for children because it promotes physical health. You can talk about how football burns calories, how children need to move around, especially since they're constantly on their mobile phones or playing video games, and how this is um, beneficial for them as children, and it will 
promote physical health when they are older. Those are examples that you can give in the body of your essay. In the second paragraph, uh, we talked about how physical education helps promote c communication and, and um, sharing with, with other, other students. You could talk about how playing group sports is actually a good way for young people to learn how to interact with each other. You can talk about how um, healthy competition is a good thing um, and other things like that. Make sure that you give examples and reasons to promote and support your idea. In the final paragraph, you can talk about, remember that the topic sentence was, physical education for children also promotes um, healthy adulthood. You could talk about how if children learn how sports are important when they're young, they will continue to practice sports when they're older, giving examples of how our bodies change as we get older and we become less fit. So those are some suggestions for filling in the body paragraphs of your opinion essay.